How's it going? My name is Nathan and I'm the founder of Lex and I'm super excited to show you what we're building. So it's a word processor. It's like Google Docs. You know, you can collaborate with other people, leave comments, suggest changes, except the really cool thing about it is there's this AI powered editor that lives inside it. So it's like a collaborator, someone who will give you feedback on your ideas and your sentences and everything from the sort of early phase of brainstorming and figuring out what you're writing about to the middle phase where you just want to help get unstuck and you want to jam through a first draft as quickly as you can to the end of the process where you're polishing your sentences and making sure everything flows perfectly. So let me give you a quick tour. So here's a Lex document. This is what you see actually when you first log in. It's an essay that I wrote that sort of introduces people to how to use Lex. Um, and you know, it's got kind of some of the things you might expect from a Google Docs style word processor. So, you know, if somebody else has it open in another tab, you can see what they're highlighting and what they're working on. You know, hey there. Um, you can also see if they leave a comment, like what's up. You can see that one will come in. So I just was doing all that in another tab uh, off to the side. Now I'm gonna resolve that comment, it just goes away. So it's got all this kind of stuff that you might expect there. There's a few kind of interesting things though. So um, one thing that's cool is the way we do versions. So I'm gonna create a new version. And now everything that I had before was saved, including the you know comments if I had any, and I can just keep going from here, but I can always get back to that previous version if I wanted to. So that's helpful. You know, there's little things like we've got dark mode, that's nice. Um, we've got a really cool focus mode um, that's like super nice. Uh, and we're, there's more to come on this actually very soon. It's kind of like a focused sessions product. But let's get into some of the sort of feedback and editorial advice and proofreading features of Lex that are powered by AI because that's really the stuff that I think makes it the most unique. So um, let's say you want to polish a sentence. You, you know, to start, copy and paste all your notes and supporting materials into a blank document. Let's say, I don't know if I love that. There's, you can hit this rewrite button and it, the AI will go in and it'll leave this as a comment. It says, begin by pasting all your notes and relevant materials into a new Lex document. To start, yeah, that's a little bit more concise. It's just a nice rewrite so I can copy it. I'm going to uh, paste it right here and boom, we got it. So that's nice. If you wanna do that in a really like, I just want you to proofread my entire document. We have this thing called checks, which is really cool. So you, you hit the commands button, you hit run checks, and then it's got not only the typical kind of grammar check, but also like brevity check, cliche check. These are pretty cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna run these three to start. It basically, the AI reads over each paragraph and you can see we need a comma there. Great, perfect. Um, software plus, we need a comma after that. Apparently I'm bad at commas. Um, you can see there's a little space in here where, yeah, to go back to Google, that's, yeah. Um, actually, I think that's just a straight up typo. Yeah, so good thing I, good thing that I ran this. Um, okay, maybe not, yeah, so these are, these are pretty good explanations. Um, and basically it's just going through and I can find all these little things in my piece to make it stronger. Um, so, but let's skip this. Let's go to the next one, which is the brevity check. This is a kind of special one. We've actually trained our own model um, to do a good job at this because we found sort of this, the stock version of these AI models um, tended to change the tone a little bit too much. And we're always iterating on these things to, to make them better. But let's say, okay, so we wanted to be brief. Instead of lots, yeah, many people want to write. That's great. Uh, but get stuck. Yeah, we don't need a comma there. They don't love what they've got. They have, it's, uh, you know, okay. Uh, but don't know. Oh, I see. So they don't, they don't love what they have, but don't know how to fix it. Yeah, that is a little bit quicker. See, it's, and it's nice because it's just these little things that if you can save, just shave off the seconds of your piece, it just helps people flow through more quickly and kind of feel like they're getting the point faster, which is what everybody wants. Yeah, before I found, before founding Lex, uh, whether a person, yeah, so this is just, it's finding ways to shave off little sentences. And again, there's a lot of stuff that it's going through and suggesting. So, you know, uh, yeah. There's just a lot of little things. Let's go back up to cliche. This is the last one on this and then I'll show some of the other features. But um, it's basically what it's doing is it's looking for overused phrases. You know, we've all heard those things like, oh, can I pick your brain or whatever. It kind of hurts our credibility sometimes a little bit when we say some of those phrases. So yeah, huge difference is definitely a little bit cliched. Um, I don't know if I like significant, but maybe I can ask it to explain explain why. I changed huge to significant because huge is overused cliche word, but using significant still conveys a meaning, but a more, all right, I'll go with it. Um, yeah, 24 seven, it should just, yeah, once that helps consistently, yeah. So it's really good at finding these kind of overused phrases. Brain dump, that's a good one. You can just write down all of your thoughts on the page. Um, so, okay, so that's checks. 
it's like having a really good editor just going through. And of course, it's not to the same level as a human editor, but it's available 24 seven and it never gets bored of uh, helping you. <laughs> so, and uh, it's a lot cheaper. So that is nice. Um, what else should I show? Let's show the high level feedback. So here we've got, it's almost like chat GPT, but it's built in to have read access to your document. So I can say something like, you know, um, I have a first draft here. I want to make it as compelling and clear as possible. What's the main idea of this piece and how can I strengthen it? And, you know, this is the kind of question in my previous life as like a writer and editor that I'd have this conversation with my editors and my writers all the time. And I have found that the AI actually, I mean, sometimes it's going to miss, but there's a lot of useful stuff that you can get from it. And it's just a helpful step in the process. Like even if you have an editor, just to be able to self edit and to go through on your own and kind of figure out how to, how to make your piece better um, before you hand it off, I think it's a great thing. So let's see, let's see what it said. So the main idea is to introduce and guide users on how to use Lex, which is true. Strengthen the main idea, emphasize the unique features of Lex. Yeah, I think emphasizing the unique benefits of Lex is obviously the most important thing I have to do. Personal anecdotes of how Lex has helped me are testimonials from satisfied users. Yeah, I don't have anything like that in here. That is obviously, that would make it better. So uh, it's kind of weirdly humbling to think that the stuff that I did as an editor, um, you know, just you can kind of get that sort of feedback from here. And it's not just good for, you know, introductory, like this is an introductory essay that sort of explains how to use a product. Um, but it's also good for like, you know, for professors and grad students, like academic papers, it's good for, um, you know, other types of, I guess this is technically marketing copy. It's great for that. Um, you know, it's, it's good for really any kind of writing, news stories, et cetera. So maybe one last thing I'll show is you can also, instead of just, you know, having the high level ask Lex, you can ask Lex about specific lines. So, you know, I could say, I'm, I'm not feeling great about this. I'll click ask Lex and it sort of mentions the, yeah, it's funny. I'm logged in as the main Lex account and I'm at mentioning Lex. Um, I can say, Hey, uh, you know, this might be not be the greatest. Uh, is it too much? How can I make it more subtle? And uh, basically Lex will reply in line. So it knows the whole piece, but it also knows the specific part of the piece that you're sort of pointing towards. And it works just like, you know, having a, uh, ha having a, you know, an editor right here in the document with you. So that's great. Um, and yeah, these are really some of the main features of Lex. You know, we're always building more. We've got a lot more coming. It's, it's brand new. And, um, I think it's, I think it's just really exciting time to be working on, uh, helping people be better writers, you know, using AI. That's it. That's the tour. If you want to use Lex, it's free. You can sign up at lex.page or just click the link in the description. And we're super excited to have you. Really hope that it helps improve your writing. That's our goal. And I'll, please reach out to us if there's anything we can do to help. Thanks so much.